Time for another board game review, and this time we have the game Cosmic Factory. This was sent to me by Gigamic, and is designed by Kane Klenko. In a true race against time, try to form the most amazing galaxy in the universe. Be careful not to neglect the unstable and chaotic rules that govern the cosmos. Let me show you how to play. So in Cosmic Factory, you are trying to build and optimize a personal nine-tile galaxy in one minute, and you repeat this for five rounds of play. So. Uh, at the start of each round, you reveal a Chaos card. A Chaos card can change the game in various ways. This one says, New dimension. You can construct your galaxy in any configuration you like. It does not have to be a 3x3 three three square. Let's ignore that for now, just so you can learn how a basic round works. Um, what happens is each player draws and drafts galaxy tiles from this bag. So you draw out nine random tiles, and then what you do is you choose three of these tiles to keep. So you put them down in front of you, and you pass them to the player on your uh, left in an odd round and right in an even round. Then you'll get some more tiles, choose three more, and then finally you'll be handed three left. So you draft, and then you have your tiles. You cannot review tiles you've already chosen, and you can't see the three tiles you received at the end. Now, we have a timer, and what you do is you have one minute to try to put this into a set of a grid of three by three. So, let's see, I'm gonna do something like, let's go like this, maybe something like this. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. Let's just say that's our example here. Okay. So, uh, now, once you are done constructing your grid, you have the option of grabbing some of these zone, bos uh, zone, bos zone bonus tokens from the middle of the table. If you take one, you are betting that you will have the uh, zone of that color with the most planets. So let's say I grab both the orange and the green. Let's say I'm pretty confident. Okay? Now. Once you have taken a bonus token, you are not allowed to touch your tiles for the rest of the round. You may take several bonus tokens during a single round, but you must take them at the same time. Now, once the sand timer is done, everyone then scores their galaxies. So, how it works is you check, you have a scoring chart here. Um, it's kind of, you can't really see because of the glare, but each planet scores different, or each zone scores differently. For a green zone, you look at how many of these tiles are connected without any asteroid lines or constellations uh, separating them. So this zone here would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, green planets. On this chart, that means I score three points for that zone. The other green zones, like this one here, and this one, and this one, uh, don't have enough planets in them to score. In the green zones, you need at least three to score any points. So there's that. Then I look at my blue zones. Uh, my single blue planets won't do anything. However, uh, this set here is three. That's worth two blue points, according to the chart. So I'll put a marker here. And then my orange zone is one, two, three, four, five, six orange planets. That's a lot. That's gonna be five points on the orange scale, like that. Then you look at your asteroid path and you see how many tiles it's crossed um, without uh, retracing. So this would be one, two, three. Not too amazing, and actually in this case you wouldn't score anything. If, let's say, we pretend it was a little bit longer, let's say it was something like, mm, something like this. Uh, then it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tiles uh, on the chart, that's two points for your asteroid. Sometimes the chaos card can give you um, different bonuses as well. Uh, and then what I would do is I would compare and see if I had the most planets for the orange bonus and the green bonus. Now, I don't have the other one set up, but let's pretend I did have the most green planets. Um, then I would get three extra points for taking the bonus token. However, let's say I didn't have the most orange planets in the zone. Then I would lose two of that color's points. 
Now, the important thing is at the end of the game, your final score is gonna be which of these colors is your lowest score plus your star score. So let's say at the end of the game, I had 20 green points, uh, 18 orange and 14 blue, and my star score was seven. It would be 14, because that's my lowest color, plus seven, 21. So you wanna make sure that all of these uh, scores are even, because if you're behind on even one of them, you're only gonna score that much and these will do nothing for you. Other than that, and that's pretty much the game. Uh, here are some of the chaos cards you can find. Uh, one is um, Gift. Uh, your left neighbor earns the points for the galaxy you construct. Interesting, okay. This one is uh, District. Earn one additional point for each zone with at least three planets. Um, we have uh, Space Pirate. After drafting the galaxy tiles, pass your nine tiles to your right neighbor. Ah, interesting. And this one, Sabotage. When the sand timer runs out, remove the tile of your choice from your left neighbor's galaxy. So there's some very wacky chaos cards in there. Um, and I won't show all of them. There's quite a few more. But that's pretty much the game. Just... Uh, Draft the tiles, try to put them in the best 3x3 three three galaxy you can, and try to score the most points in each category, uh, along with constructing the longest asteroid pad that you can. And that's the game. So this one was pretty entertaining. Uh, these real-time games can be a lot of fun, just trying to get, you know, the ideal configuration while the clock's ticking. But my favorite mechanic in this game is actually the uh, whole, you score your lowest score of the three colors, you know, Tigris and Euphrates style. I think that's a really fun idea, so that you can never just, you know, excel in only one field. You gotta, you know, keep them all balanced. Throw in the chaos cards, you change up the game in very silly, fun ways, and you've got a solid, a solid, you know, package here that's very easy to learn. Uh, the only scoring thing I had personal trouble with was the asteroid path, but that was just a personal problem. I was just bad at that. It's not a problem with the game. Uh, yeah, that's, there's not a whole lot else to say. It's just very satisfying trying to, you know, organize those tiles and, the, and get the most planets and asteroid paths you can and there are enough twists and interesting scoring from the chaos cards and again that tigris and euphrates style scoring of the three tracks uh yeah it keeps it from being just a too simple too samey game it's cute easy to learn i had fun with it